Hi my love, Sister Point here with LA Curly Girls and I am coming to you with a product review. Um, today is another review for Chagrin Valley and I actually have two products that I will be reviewing. Um, one is the Cream de Coco. It is a body balm. And then the other one is the Coco Butter a Hair Balm. It's a hair mousse. Um, both of these were provided to LA Curly Girls for review. Um, they did sponsor our last meetup, our Fall in Love with Your Curls, that was held in November. Um, just some information about uh, Chagrin Valley. I spoke with Sam, um, who is my contact there, and he was explaining to me that Chagrin Valley is a water-free um, house and that they don't use preservatives in their products. So if you want something super super natural, then this is it. Um, these don't they don't have water in them. Now, <clears throat> and I know in the natural hair community, we use the word leave-in as a leave-in conditioner and moisturizer. They use the word leave-in, but they mean leave it in your hair and don't rinse it out. Um, but it, their products don't have water, so they're not truly a moisturizer in the true sense of what we consider a leave-in, but um, you do leave it in. And so the hair, um, the hair balm is actually a, what we would consider a sealant. It seals in the moisture. So you would use it, um, use your moisturizer, your leave-in, um, and then how I do it is then I use my styler and then I seal. Um, so this, I guess we'll start with the hair balm. So I use this as a sealer. Um, and I received um, this is this is a one ounce and let me show you what it looks like. It is pretty whipped. It has a nice consistency. It's the whipped. It's like the consistency of frosting. Um, and it does melt down very well. Um, it's a light uh, butter, um, and what I like to have, like, what I like to use it for was, like I said, sealing my ends, um, I like to use it on my edges underneath, if I put something on my edges, and it was great underneath, uh, my gel when I slipped my hair back in a ponytail. Um, it provided a good amount of protection in those cases, as well as it did seal the moisture in. Like I said, since it doesn't have any water, it didn't really provide moisture itself. Um, but it's a really good product. It's really good for sealing. Um, it's good for those spots, uh, those spot sealings. You know, like if you have a knot or if you have to go in and cut something out and then you want to protect that end, this is really good for that. <clears throat> and I found myself using this a lot for that. Um, I really don't have much to say about it outside of I like it. Um, I would definitely get it. And I think this one ounce is really good for travel. So if you are if you need to just throw it in your travel kit, um, this is a good way to go. Okay. They do, it does come in a bigger size. And this is a four ounce. Um, so I do have this one. And I'm not sure if this will get you through TSA, but it is a good size um, to use if you're just going to use it all around for sealing. Now, you know I don't twist, so but I think this would be a good um, product to seal your twist with. Um, I loved it for sealing my ends. Um, it's a, since it's a little light, um, I think maybe summer, spring, the beginning of fall, um, but once you get into the colder, colder months, I, for me personally, I would need something a little bit heavier, but this worked great before we got into the really cold. So, good stuff. Now on to the cream de coco, and this is their body balm, and I really, really like this. And it's a little, looks like it's sweating, but I've been playing with it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and when it's 
colder, it's a little bit more solidified. Um, so, but like I said, I've been playing with it, so it's pretty soft right now. It's not something that you um, you have to work or dig in. Um, it comes out of the jar really, really well. It's soft, but it is solid. Um, what I used this for was the spots. Um, my elbows, um, I did use it on my hands, um, my heels, my knees, things like that. Um, and I will say this I did use in my hair and it did work good. It was a good sealant. So again, um, I did try it when I was wet and I really didn't care for it when it was wet. I liked it better when I was damp or dry um, on my skin. So um, like I said, it's um, good for spots. One, because I have a small tin. This is a one ounce. No, it's a two ounce. It's a two ounce, so this it wasn't enough to do my whole body several times. I did use, use it for my whole body, I think, once, and it gave me great protection throughout the day. Um, when I came home, by the time I came home, I was still protected. So really, really good, but I preferred it at spots. Um, I did gave myself a pedicure one day and used it on my feet, and this was really, really good. So for those of you that like to scrub your feet and then put something on and put socks on, this would be ideal. Um, again, it's small enough that if you wanted to put it in your uh, overnight bag and take it with you, it's really good. Um, I think the rest of this may go in my purse or it may go on my desk at work since I wash my hands so, so much. <clears throat> because I do wash my hands throughout the day several times, it does provide enough protection that you can put it on, wash your hands, and um, you still have some protection. Okay? So, that is all that I have for these two products. Um, I will leave um, the information in the description box about where you can find Chagrin Valley. And um, let me know what you've tried from them. Have you tried these products and what do you think about them? Okay, my love, stay beautifully curly and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.